Cameron was asking us, have you personally, you, you know, either of us, <coughs> uh, ever been corrected on something regarding Highland wear by someone who was wildly incorrect? And if so, how did you handle it when that happened? <clears throat> um, back when we first started the company, uh, 2003-ish, um, I had a, a gentleman come into the shop and he said, I want to get the County Donegal Tartan. And I said, sure, not a problem. Okay. Pulled out the book from House of Edgar. This one? Yep, that one. Okay, great. And he said, yes, that was my great-great-grandfather's tartan. He wore that tartan. That's why I want to wear the County Donegal Tartan. And I explained to him that uh... the, the Irish County Tartans, while they are beautiful, were only designed in 1995 by a lady named Polly Wittering for the House of Edgar. You know, here, you know, here's the back of the swatch with the copyright date. And he kind of, no, my great grandfather wore this one. This is the one he wore. And it was, it was more of a sales aha moment than anything mm. where it's to a degree, the customer's always right kind of situation where it's just like, okay, your great grandfather wore it. Great. Let me take your measurements and take your right, order. Right. It's, Moving you, know, on. you just kind of have to just move past it. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we are in a weird position where when someone tells us something that's incorrect, like patently incorrect, like verifiably date of copyright incorrect, we just kind of have to explain what the fact is to them. And if they don't want to accept that as truth or if they don't believe us, then we just kind of have to move past it so we don't get in kind of a confrontational situation i think that's i think it's that's just not just being in uh in the business like we are but i think that's just being gentlemanly anyway fair, fair. i'm not going to if somebody is sincerely seeking information from me and they want verification of what they think is true or if they want to be corrected because they're trying <coughs> to learn more that's one thing but if this is something that they've got a lot of emotion tied up in it it's not worth it to me to shatter their illusions you, know, you got to choose your battles, I think is what I'm saying. Sometimes it is, if they're out spreading misinformation in a bad way, then I'll be more likely to correct them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, some guys going around saying, oh, you always wear your pleats in the front, you know, then I'm going to want to correct them yeah. and drive that point home. But if it's just an innocent thing, yeah, I would gauge the innocence of it, I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, and I, I'd gauge the innocence and the level of fact versus opinion. In right. my example, right. like right. it's a copyright date that's literally 1995 C with a circle around right. it. Right. Versus if someone says, you know, no, you don't leave the bottom button of your vest undone. That's ridiculous. You always button it down to the bottom. Yeah. It's yeah. where it's a convention, not necessarily a law or right. a verifiable right. fact. There's a bit of a gray area. And you have to decide if you're going to get into it with them or if you're just going to say, well, let's just agree to disagree. Yeah. You know, sometimes you want to do that, sometimes you don't. Yeah. It's... But when you're even when you're saying that, there's almost a level of, I you're wrong and I just don't want to fight with you, within okay. that. Right. Um, but at the same time, yeah, it's politely kind of back out of it, like oh mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. yeah, and just you know have a great day. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's as simple. I can't say I've ever had a personal experience where somebody has done me, or done that to to me on correcting yeah. me on what I was wearing. Um, I've had similar, <clears throat> vaguely similar things to what you're talking about here at work. But in my personal life, I can't say I've ever had anybody come up and and say, you know, that's not the way you're supposed to do that. I've never yeah. had that happen. The, that's just probably luck of the draw at this point. But. I've had it in, I've had it happen here for where somebody is talking to somebody else, like father talking to his son and explaining how something is done. Mm -hmm. And I will gently, gently nudge them like, well, it's actually this, or if they're like, you know, oh, the ancient is the old, is the is the darker color schemes. Then I'll be like, no, actually, it's the modern. Like, here's here's the example, yeah. kind of thing. So I'll, I would politely do it. I wouldn't try to embarrass the person. Right, right, um, right. But if they if they want to believe misinformation, at some point you just kind of okay. Yeah, I think you're not. It, you're rarely going to win a convert or um, help somebody out by embarrassing. <clears throat> them. That's the other thing. Yes, I would yeah. agree with that 100. Yeah. percent Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Well, I think we shot that shot that horse pretty well. Yeah. <laughs> horse pace.